Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living, or if you are new here, hello, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I'm sharing all of the food and treats I prepared for my daughter's third birthday party. This is actually the second half of my party prep for her birthday. In part one, I cover all the decorations and DIYs. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to go and watch that video after this one. But without further ado, let's get into this. First step, we have a super simple but adorable treat, traffic light pretzels, which can be made ahead of time. The first thing I did was separate a bag of M&Ms by color. I thought it was funny that the colors weren't more close in number. Statistically, you would have thought so, but that's not the way it is, I guess. There were way more greens than reds. I figured I'd leave the orange and the brown together since they fit the color scheme of the party, and we set the blue aside to enjoy some other time. Later, when I had more time, I took the red, yellow, and green M&Ms, some white melting chocolate, and pretzel sticks, and assembled the treats by dipping the pretzels in the melted chocolate, and then placing the M&Ms in the order they appear on a traffic light. Later, I found it easier to place the dipped pretzel down on the wax paper first before placing the M&Ms. That way, if the pretzel rolled on its side or just found a more comfortable spot, the M&Ms wouldn't go with it. Next step, we have spare tire brownies. To make these, I just used some box brownie mix to make life easier, especially since I was planning on making Aubrey's birthday cake from scratch. I piped the batter into these silicone donut molds that I also used for our gender reveal party. Later on, I figured it was easier just to scoop out the batter into the molds and then use a spatula to wipe off the excess from the center of each cavity. Then I baked these and threw them in the freezer soon after they got out of the oven to firm up a bit. I noticed that if I just tried to take them out of the molds once they cooled, they would be more inclined to break apart. Throwing them in the freezer made them firm up enough to come out of the molds easier and quicker. This was nice because I only had one mold in each size and I had to repeat this process many times, which took forever. But in my opinion, it was worth it. I also prepared this treat a few days in advance and stored them in the freezer until the morning of the party. The day before the party, I set up all that I could to make life easier the day of. I laid out the snacks and their labels according to their categories. In addition to my two themed treats, I wanted sweet and savory dipping stations. The sweet dipping station was going to feature Nutella, strawberries, graham crackers, mini pretzel sticks, and some nuts. The savory dipping station was going to feature ranch, broccoli, and carrot sticks. And of course, each of these foods was going to be labeled with something that fit the construction theme. They said, don't fall, don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink, don't run, don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it. Get in these voices inside to stay quiet. Go to the place where all then it was time to make the cake. Since I've shared this cake recipe a number of times on this channel, I will link the recipe video up above and use this time to share the second half of the Amazon code I mentioned in my previous party prep video, where I cover all the decorations and DIYs. 
Again, I'd like to congratulate the first person who claims this reward. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. Please let me know if you were able to claim this prize either down below in the comments or message me on my Instagram. If you showed up just a little too late to this party and unable to claim the code, please know that I really appreciate you as well and there will be more opportunities in the future. But let's get back to the cake. After the cakes cooled, I wrapped them in plastic wrap and threw them in the freezer until I was ready to assemble the cake. Since I was planning on putting crushed Oreos on top of the cake for decoration, I needed to separate the cream from about two rows of cookies. I set the cream aside and crushed the cookies in a Ziploc bag. Then I cut up the last row of cookies to be used as part of the filling for the center of the cake. Next up was the frosting. I wanted vanilla frosting in between the two cake layers and chocolate on the outside. So I began by making the vanilla frosting using the same recipe I have in the past. But this time I decided to add the Oreo cream that I had removed to the frosting. I really liked how this tasted and can definitely see making this again in the future. Afterwards, I made my chocolate buttercream frosting, again using the same recipe I've shared in the past. I put both of these frostings in containers and threw them in the fridge until I was almost ready to assemble the cake. To assemble this cake, I placed one of the frozen layers down on the cake board I bought a few videos ago, outlined the number three on a piece of paper towel to later serve as a type of stencil, and then I did a sealed border of the vanilla Oreo cream frosting. To the sea, baby, I never say for I fall to the I poked holes in the cake and poured a layer of chocolate ganache in the middle and threw it in the fridge to firm up. Then I topped the ganache with almost all of the vanilla Oreo cream frosting and squished in the cut up Oreos I prepared earlier. Then came the second layer of the frozen cake. I covered both layers in the chocolate frosting and then it was time to decorate. Shine right back again. 
I bought these cars from Target and planned on using just a couple on the cake and the rest on the table as decorations. I placed the paper towel three towards the lower right hand corner of the cake and covered the top and some of the sides of the cake with the crushed Oreos. Then I vacuumed up the mess. I colored the remaining vanilla Oreo cream frosting green, placed the construction cars on the cake and cake board, and piped on some grass around the cake. Then I added a cake topper that came in an Amazon decoration pack, a sign that I made myself, and a gold glitter number three candle that I got from Dollar Tree. I love how easy this cake was to assemble and how it turned out. It really gives you a lot of wiggle room if you're not an experienced baker or decorator. And it tasted delicious too, so I'm definitely making this again in the future. Finally, we have our nacho station. The day before the party, we prepped the tomatoes, the onions, and even the ground beef. The day of the party, we put the beef in a crock pot so that it could heat up again and it was perfect for the party. We put some refried beans in another and the nacho cheese in another little crock pot to go with the other toppings like lettuce, sour cream, guac, and so on. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of that final result, but I hope you get the picture. Then I just had to finish preparing and setting up the food display in the kitchen. All of these foods were popular during the party, but the most popular were the spare tire brownies. I got a lot of compliments on them, and I think it was because they seemed to be just the perfect size. You could pop one in your mouth and not feel like you had too much or too little. However, that didn't stop people from going back for more. Let me know in the comments if you plan on trying any of these treats, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you stick around. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.